Hello and welcome to the module JWT Command Line Kung Fu. This module is going to be very interesting because we are going to use some existing command line tools to actually produce HS256 and RS256 signatures. So let's get started. As I mentioned, we are going to see how to create HS256 signature using command line, followed by we will see how to use OpenSSL to create public and private key pairs and after that we will also see how to create the signature using RS-256 algorithm. Now in this video let's take a look at how the first one is done. We are going to see how to generate HS-256 signature using command line. Let me switch to my Kali machine. Before we get into creating a HS-256 signature using the command line, I would like to show you a page that I have created. This is accessible on your secure store server on slash v3 slash hs256.php. Try to access this and it will produce a sample hs256 json web token for us. The token that's displayed here is created using a JWT framework. However, we are going to reproduce the exact same token using command line. To do this, we need to know two important points. One, the basics of HS-256. Number two, the tools that we need. We can use OpenSSL and SID, which are already available in Kali Linux. And the first part is understanding HS-256. We have already gone through the basics of how HS-256 works. If you haven't watched those videos, it is highly recommended that you understand how HS-256 works before following this video. So let's begin. First, let's take a look at the token. It contains three parts. One, the JWT headers. Number two, the JWT payload. And the last part is the signature. And this signature is created using HS-256 algorithm. And the shared key that is used to create the signature is 123456. Now we want to be able to create this particular signature using the details available here. So this is the input for us and this is the algorithm that we want to use and this is the shared key for HS256. So let's first copy this and open up a terminal type echo hyphen n and let's paste the base64 url encoded version of the headers and the payload so i'm pasting it here this is what we have obtained from the page that is available in secure store server now notice that there is no dot at the end we have removed it now let's pipe this into OpenSSL. so OpenSSL will take this as input and we want to produce a SHA-256 digest of this first. So SHA-256 digest can be created using the option DGST space hyphen SHA-256. And this hash is created using a secret token to produce a hash based message authentication code. So let's type HMAC space the secret code one two three four five six we are using a binary format and let's pipe this output to open ssl base 64 because we want to convert the signature into the base 64 url encoded version however open ssl doesn't support base 64 url encoding so we are first encoding it using base 64 and we will pass this base64 encoded string to set to replace plus with minus and slash with underscore. So let's first use base64 from OpenSSL and then let's pipe that output to set. So we are using hyphen E to specify that we need to encode it and hyphen A so that the whole output is going to be treated as a string in one line now let's use sed with a simple regex to replace plus with minus minus. 
and I'm specifying G so all the occurrences will be replaced with minus and once again the output will be passed to Z to replace slash with underscore so Z I missed S before S slash slash and we need to specify the slash here and we need to replace it with underscore and finally slash g and finally let's pass this to set once again to actually omit the padding characters hyphen e stands for extended regular expression so let's just use this Okay, this command should produce the signature that we are looking for. So let's hit enter. There seems to be a problem here, unknown option to yes. So let's put it in single quotes. And hit enter. And there you go. If you see this, the signature is starting with KXGL. Let's go back and check what we have got in, in the web page. If you look at this, this is exactly the same. KXGLQW. There you go. And it ends with DVTC. And it ends with DVTC. So this is how we can use command line tools like OpenSSL and SED to produce HS256 signatures. That's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to see how to create a public-private key pair using OpenSSL.